Hi guys, welcome back to the Makeup Loft. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a wear test. So I have got a foundation and a lip color to try out. I have got the Superstay foundation in the shade 44. And I've also got the Superstay matte ink in 65 Stuptress. So we're going to try this out. We're gonna wear it out throughout the day. I'm probably gonna keep this on for maybe like 12 hours just to see how well they last on the skin and the lips, obviously. All right, so before we start, I think it's very important to know what the promises are for the products. So um, the foundation says it's a high pigment, long wear, full coverage foundation. Girl, definitely up my alley. Uh, let's see, it says it's going to help transform the skin to reveal a matte finish, flawless base for up to 24 hours. Girl, I'm not gonna wear this for 24 hours, but I will certainly wear this for 12 hours just to see how well it lasts throughout, you know, like your normal day. Um, today, I am not going to work, thank goodness. I am just going to be um, hanging out with a couple of friends and family. And then for the lip color, it says it's long wear, high pigment, liquid lipstick. Um, it also has that arrow applicator for precise precision. I actually really like the applicator for this lipstick. I think it works really well for my lip shape. I have worn this app before, but I haven't worn it and like really paid attention for 12 hours. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so before we start, I feel like you guys need to know a bit more about my skin, about me, so you guys know how I'm judging this. Um, and that way, you know, this is going to align with your wants and needs as well. So obviously I am male, I'm 29 years old. I have textural issues, large pores, fine lines, and obviously this to contend with. When it comes to textural issues for like this area of my face, I'm not too bothered because I know facial hair just comes out, but I will be judging like based on like um, my pores and my fine lines. So I'm going to just quickly prime and put my color corrector and then we're going to move on to the foundation. All right, so we're getting up close and personal girls. So um, what do I have on my face so far? I have got the Master Camo in 50 apricot um just as a color corrector on my five o'clock shadow and then um i've got the face studio pore, min min <laughs> pore minimizing primer for the rest of the face just to get it ready okay so we are going to now um apply the foundation so again i am in the shade 40 fawn and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using a sponge on this side and then i'm also going to use a like a buffing type brush like almost like a kabuki on this side of my face just to see if there's any difference in terms of application and finish if you guys are wondering why i have some orange on my face it's just to color correct the five o'clock shadow so i have like that dark tinge on my mouth and i just it annoys me when i wear makeup so i just want to see how this foundation is going to work at covering all of that and also just working with the color corrector by the way this also works really well for you guys and girls let's be inclusive come on um if you guys have um and girls have a dark mouth from hyperpigmentation. I think I might start with this side, the brush side. So that is one pump. Typically with most foundations, I need like two or three pumps, but we'll see. From what I've seen, this is pretty, pretty full coverage. So I might have already just added too much. Again, this is the brush I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to do like stippling. Okay. <laughs> Also, this match is pretty good. I actually really like this color match. It's nice and warm. Wow, that one pump has definitely gone a long way. All the redness and all the marks, it's like, it's all covered. It looks really nice and flawless. Okay, now let's see how this goes with this. So usually for color correction, um, I tend to stipple instead of like buffing. That way you get more coverage out of it. Wow, okay, so that is pretty impressive. Now, I'm not surprised it hasn't covered it completely. Just with color correction, with the amount of orange that I put on, it, it typically does that. So that's what one layer looks like. Now let's try um, the sponge side again. One pump, just to make it a fair test. Okay, so just a damp beauty sponge. Again, I'm starting on the area that doesn't have the color correction. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell from the camera, but you can definitely see there's more coverage on this side so far. Okay, now we're going to move on to the color correction side. All right, so that's what one layer looks like so far. All right, so two layers for both sides. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel like this side definitely has a bit more coverage. Definitely this foundation is on the whole. Mr. Spot. I will, however, just use the sponge to blend in the middle. 
because there is a bit of a line in terms of the coverage. In terms of the coverage, I'm pretty impressed. Um, sometimes with my five o'clock shadow and the color correction and whatnot, I have to add like maybe another half a pump just to really cover it. But this foundation has definitely done its job. Oh, so, so impressed. So anyway, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back and we'll talk about the lipstick. Okay, so the rest of the makeup is on and now we're going to move on to the lipstick. So again, I have got the shade the Duchess number 65. All right, so the lip color is just drying down, but I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update on the foundation itself. Um, I did use the Maybelline Fit Me press powder just to set um, pretty much the rest of it. Um, and this is probably the area that doesn't have any like bronzer or blush or highlight. Oh, highlight, naughty, naughty, naughty. How could I forget? Overall, looks good. I don't see any creasing usually. Most foundations, especially if they're like on the matter side, they tend to crease up here. And I also forgot to mention what it looked like before I put everything else on. It definitely has a matte finish, but it's not a flat matte. I'd like to describe it as like a velvet matte. Like there's still like life, but it's there's very, very minimal shine. Okay, so we've moved on to the vlogging camera. I've also turned off all the studio lights so you guys can see it, what it looks like in front of a window. Looks really, really good. I also forgot to show you guys the lipstick. Nothing, nothing, no transfer, so good so far. So what am I going to be doing today? So I'm actually going to go to my partner's sister's house. We're just gonna catch up over coffee. In terms of time, it is currently, I don't know if you guys can see that, it is 11.40 in the morning. So I'm gonna try and keep this on, you know, pretty much midnight this evening just to see how well everything lasts, how well it all holds up. Anyway, I'm running late, so let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, it's currently 1.13 in the afternoon, so an hour and a bit. Um, so this is what my face looks like. So we've just been running around doing some errands, um, pretty much mostly in the car um, with the heater on my face. And this is what it's looking so far. I can see a little bit of shine peeking through around the nose. That's pretty normal for me. Um, but it's definitely taken away the matteness of the foundation. Like when I first put the setting spray and everything, it was still pretty matte, um, like a soft matte. Now it's starting to get a little bit dewy, which is what I like. Um, but in terms of breaking apart, I don't see any bit of the foundation breaking apart. Let me just look closely. I think it just looks really, really good. And so far I'm really impressed. I mean, this is only the first hour, so I'll give you guys more updates as well. We're going to have lunch and we're going to have some dr um, coffee, not drinks, coffee. Um, I'll try and vlog some footage of me eating and drinking so you guys can see um, the lipstick, how it wears. Um, but by the way, the lipstick itself looks pretty good. Hey guys, so we have just left. It's currently 2.51 in the afternoon, so this is what it looks like. The foundation itself, I feel like, still looks pretty much the same. Um, and then we also had some food. Um, we had some curried egg sandwiches, as you guys saw. Um, I feel like the lipstick on the inner part has worn off a little bit, but that's obviously, that's what happens when you eat. Girl, hey, it is now um, a six. 6.33 in the evening, so we're well and truly, on 6.34, well and truly past the halfway mark. Um, so let's have a look up close and personal. Okay, so let's talk about the foundation first. Foundation wise, I feel like it still looks really, really good. I can see my skin's starting to look a bit shiny, like some tissue just lightly blotting in the areas I feel like are a bit too shiny. Um, again, I don't really feel so I don't know if you guys can see that there's a little bit of foundation coming off now but in terms of coverage I think it's still pretty much there. What I will do now is I'm going to touch up um, with some powder for the face and then touch up the lipstick just to see if touching up at this point makes a difference. Um, I am going to go ahead and make dinner. I'm so hungry. I'm going to make fried rice. I'm so excited. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit of that and then I will give you guys my final thoughts and opinion once we hit. 11.50, midnight, thereabouts. Okay guys, the fried rice is done. Ugh. Okay, so we are back at the loft. It is 11.51 in the evening. We have made it, guys. So it is a total of 12 hours. I actually feel like this has been on for longer than 12 hours. What do I look like now? I feel like I look very oily, like even my hair is kind of like deflated. But anyway, let's look up close and personal. Ooh. Hello, she is 
she definitely has some luminosity she's definitely oily so um let me just put this mirror down and let me grab my handy dandy tissue and see if it makes any difference sorry if i'm a bit flat guys it's like pretty late and grandpapa needs to go to bed soon so it looks really good it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look like much coverage has worn off. I don't know if it's because it's just a really high coverage. So, you know, even if a little bit comes off, I still have a decent amount on my face. So I am, I'm loving it. Honestly, sometimes I fly in and out of Melbourne for events and I just wear my makeup and hope it lasts throughout the day. And usually I go for long wearing makeup and I have found a new foundation to do that with. Okay, now let's move on to the lips. Now, as you guys saw, I had my fried rice. <laughs> Yummy. Um, and that has a little bit of oil. Like, okay, let's be real. It was a bit oily. Um, and lips are intact. I don't know if you guys can see it from that distance, but it definitely looks like it's still freshly applied, to be honest. Girl, this lipstick's good. All right, everyone, so that concludes this wear test video. Again, I tried out the Superstay foundation and the Superstay Matte Ink Lip Color, and both winners in my book. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. Hit the like button if you guys did. I know you guys did. And, and don't forget to share this with your friends and family. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.